Well, it probably wasn't what the England fans expected to see when they came here tonight, but what they got was a very good game of World Cup qualifying football between England and Ukraine, a real contest in which Ukraine played a major part. And starting with a, a near moment there, it was a, a fluke, really. It was a cross by Gusev that was deflected onto the post. He cer cer sorry, Stuart. He certainly played well, Gusev, in that first half. Whenever the diagonal balls were hit, he got forward. But England had their moments as well, and this was a good one from Jermaine Defoe. I don't think it's a foul. It's a great strike from He's handing off the challenge of Yamalenko. And what a strike it was. And he actually gets a booking for this as well. Which again cuts inside Gusev, holds off the challenge. And then Yamalenko holds his face, not where he was touched anyway. But that's the technique. You just wonder what would have happened to the game if that goal had been allowed to stand very early on. But Ukraine will tell you that they had a perfectly good one not given in the uh, European Championships in Donetsk back in June. What goes around comes around. But uh, very order defensively, very quick to break forward. This is uh, Ruslan Rotan trying to steer it in and Steven Gerrard with other ideas. They yeah, cleverly got caught on the ball in midfield and as they did so often, Ukraine broke really well with intelligence and pace. When the ball comes out to Konoplyanka, I thought he was going to hit it with his left foot, but he tries to come inside. Jagielka blocks him, but well played, Steven Gerrard. Was uh, selling the left back, feeding an intelligent ball in for Garmash, who was on uh, the full stretch. That was the feature of the first half, crossfield balls, then the cross into the box. And England had their moments too, and this was a great pass from Steven Gerrard, who produced two or three good passes. Jermaine Defoe, unselfish, he's not offside, heads it back to Cleverly. Well, he just gets too much on it, doesn't he? And straight after that, Konoplyanka with a Wembley Classic for Ukraine. You Steven Gerrard did his best to try and close him down. He, he, he did recognise the danger, but just a little too slippery to move inside onto his uh, stronger right foot, the goal scorer. Well, they had a lot of ground to make up, Steven Gerrard. James Milner was out the pitcher, he was in further infield, and Konoplyanka, once he came inside Steven Gerrard, was always going to hit the target. What a great strike it was. But this uh, was actually the third of the uh, cleverly hat-trick of chances late in the first half just wasn't his night brilliant play from James Milner dragging three players towards him cleverly gets his second touch out of his feet can't beat the goalkeeper at that near post yeah. here's the first Steven Gerrard jumping with an arm outstretched there Defoe had been booked for something similar and uh, that came back to bite Steven Gerrard later on in the game it was, he was leading with his elbow, he caught Rotan, who got a cut, that was the first book, and as you said, he still tried to inspire his team, Steven Gerrard, and Glenn Johnson, out on that right-hand side, did cause problems. Coming in on his left foot, as we've seen him do so many times, it should have been a corner, it was a good save from the goalkeeper, Piotr. Well, you're making the point, Stuart, about players uh, getting at Ukraine with the ball, Johnson, of course, had been on from the start, the substitutes were doing that, and, uh, well, that could have... Uh, produced uh, the key moment there were still the uh, opportunities for England still 1-0 down remember Gerrard his Sturridge and Welbeck it sat up for him and he hit it too full really and flush against the post yeah it was a good ball into the box from Daniel Sturridge he wasn't too wide he just played it into the danger area and as you said in commentary he's got to hit it with the outside of his foot he gets it right on the laces but England's uh, reprieve came and Welbeck trying to lift it past Kacharithi's uh, attempt to close it down and he came in the defender with an arm raise Stuart. He certainly did but what play from Bertrand who made the forward run the foe gets a little flick on it and he's clever here Welbeck he could have tried the shot it might have gone over the barn but he waited for it to come down here he could have shot but lifts it over the challenge from Kacharithi and definitely handball and no mistake from Frank Lampard. Yes. That is emphatic. And England then, Lampard in a hurry to restart the game, thought that they had time with added on time to try and uh, win the game. But Steven Gerrard got himself his second yellow, and that took the wind out of England. So this is a referee, incidentally, sent off 
John Terry at the uh, Chelsea game in uh, the new Camp against Barcelona. And no doubt he was right to do that, and no doubt he was right to do that, although Gerard will say that he saw the ball, tried to get it, but... He was just desperate to win the ball back, wasn't he, Stephen Gerrard, yeah. because he'd given the ball away. And he collides with Garmash, and he gets sent off. So, anguish at the end, but it could have been worse, it could have been 1-0 defeat, it was 1-1.